What's going on guys? It's in my the silence, better known as Josh, and I am back finally with another taste touch challenge video in which I taste food or drinks or whatever I feel like testing for you guys to tell you whether it's good and spend money on it or bad and avoid it. Like your bubonic plague or whatever virus is out there at this time. I'm actually bringing you one video with four different four four different things in it. Um <laughs> What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, as we all know, the new Mountain Dew Kickstarts have come out. Not the pineapple, orange, mango, which is really good. And the strawberry kiwi. Which, yeah, it's all right. There's actually four new flavors. You got the... If I can get my fingers out of the way. Energizing blood orange. Energizing watermelon. Ooh. <clears throat> Energizing blueberry pomegranate. There's a lot of energizing in this. You're going to be going like the Energizer Bunny, apparently. And then last but not least, Energizing Midnight Grape. Now, the Midnight Grape one is in the original um, Kickstart can, the 16-ounce one. The three others are in the 12-ounce can. I don't know why they did that. I, I don't know. But I'm actually going to taste test all four of them, obviously, at different times. I'm not going to sit there and all at once just dump it in a cup and go. No. I'm actually going to start with the blood orange. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. Oh, that is crisp. All right, blood orange. <clears throat> I didn't want to burn my camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. Blood orange is actually pretty good. Tastes like a juicy or orange. I don't know what to say on that one. Next is the blueberry pomegranate. Blueberry pomegranate. Okay. The first can I had of that because I wanted to make sure that they weren't had a deep. I had them a couple weeks back. Um, that actually tastes like Pepsi Blue. Same as the first can I had. <laughs> so, there's that. I only had the cans because I'd had work in seeing hours the past couple weeks, so I kind of needed a kickstart. <laughs> uh, horrible joke, I know. Next is the Energizing Watermelon. And yes, I am tasting these all four at one. Like, just literally one after another after another. There is no cuts, there is no edits. If I say something stupid, it's gonna stay in this video. I don't edit my videos. If I say cockamimi bullshit, motherfucker, I might keep it. I don't know. Depending on if I can get, depending on if kids are watching or not. If, if, if you're watching and you're a kid, those are bad words. Don't say those. Stay in school. Don't be a fool. Drink some watermelon kickstart. <sighs> Tastes like watermelon. I mean, there's really, it's freaking watermelon. I mean, can't really tell you what watermelon is supposed to taste like. It tastes like watermelon. And then last but not least is Energizing Midnight Grape in the Humonga Dunga can. Again, filming this at work because best lighting, quiet back area, uh, don't worry about kids. Here we go. Tastes like grape Kool-Aid. All right, they were going for a grape Kool-Aid kind of taste. All right, no, can't complain about that. <clears throat> so my final verdict on all of them: the blueberry pomegranate. Um, I give it a three out of five. I mean, I'm sure you're gonna end up tasting the pomegranate as you go down the can. You definitely kick the blueberry right off the bat, but as you go lower, it's probably gonna start tasting like the pomegranate, and then it goes from like Pepsi Blue to Pepsi Ew. Midnight grape, sh uh, sugary Kool Aid, grape Kool Aid. Five. Only because I like grape. It's my own personal opinion. Watermelon. Gotta go with four. I mean, it's a it's just watermelon. You can't really mess up watermelon. I mean, it would've been cool if they added like a different like a, a secondary flavor to it. But I mean, it's watermelon. It's actually pretty good. And then the blood orange. 
I give it a four as well. So overall, the one that I would probably say to avoid is the blueberry pomegranate only because if you don't like pomegranate, you're not going to like it. That's all I got to say. But, um, <clears throat> no, great. Now they're just going to be, I'm just going to start gassing it all up here at work. But, um, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Ooh, I don't even know why I'm pulling out lines. I actually have more stuff in my bag of goodies that I probably will end up doing a video on either in f later today or at some point tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of want to see how my schedule plays out. But um, this has been the first taste of this video I've done in about three weeks. The last one I did was the hot dog Pringles video. So you can go and check that out along with any of my other taste test videos. Play this is in my channel. Also, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Good comments, bad comments, what I need to do, what I need to change, what my different, you know, some type of something. I don't know. Any feedback is good feedback. Anything you really want to see me do, go right ahead. Leave it. Just the box, the box is under there. After all my information that I got to type in, underneath that, there's, there's a box that says add comment. Just add away. Just add away. If you type like this and you want to see like Yarglish, I'll try to find Yarglish. I don't even know. But this has been In My Science, better known as Josh, and I will talk to you guys in the next taste test video. Look out for more videos on the way. I might have a dual column or two coming. And a live column. And wait for it. A let's play. Take it easy, guys.